Hi, my name's Janelle Wolfe. I've been skiing since I was quite young. Skiing is that it takes forever to get pretty good, and snowboarding is that your ass just kills you after your first day. So I learned how to park ride, so I've never really touched like a rail or really gone on kickers before, and I'm quite excited to learn that. I started snowboarding when I was like uh, 11 years old. I began uh, freestyle skiing two, three years ago. It's my first winter, and, uh, but I ski since I was my, and my father is skiing through uh, years of practice. I live in the Pyrenees in the uh, southwest, southwest of France, like one hour from the mountain, so I used to go with the school, with my school, uh, each weekend. I think it does, I think it is good. It's a lot of, um, a lot of the pressure's kind of taken away. I think sometimes guys can be either more competitive or might look like they pick things up faster, or maybe they're more fearless, I'm not sure, but as women you can kind of be intimidated by that. But it was really nice, there was about there was four of us, and we were all, you know, egging each other on and, like, pushing each other. Our coaches were males, but, like, that's really different, having, you know, companions being females. I think it's really good. It's not more difficult to be a girl if you are, if you are in the spirit with cool people and everything, there's no problem. All of my friends, my uh, male friends, were pushing me a lot and saying, oh, it's cool, Alex, go more and more. And teaching me some new tips, new, new tricks and everything, so... But it's uh, like uh, to, to see girls on the park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the freestyle lessons. So basically like riding pipes and kickers and rails and things. So you can travel a lot and you can uh, discover many different snow parks, different sort of backcountry slopes. And that's very interesting and you can meet other riders from around Europe and uh, have feelings with them. So it's, a, it's like a, a small world and you, you can see each people at different places, different times in the year. So it's, it's kind of really cool. And the worst thing, uh, you are never at your home. Fine. Always traveling, and maybe sometimes it's difficult for some people. For me, it's okay, but sometimes you are really tired, but you have to do things. And, but it's good. Chance, uh, lucky. We are really lucky <laughs> to do that. Yeah. This kind of event, like the, the Rip Girl Girls too can maybe uh, help some girls who are shy to go on their own to come and with other girls and speak together and that's like a cool uh, atmosphere so I think it's easier. I think it's a really good sport to get young people involved in because I mean it kind of keeps you out of trouble, gives you something to do, it's it's athletic one, like keeps you fit and it's um, a social scene as well. Don't hesitate just yeah. train and... Yeah, and you have to... Don't think about people, what they will think about yeah. you, that they will watch you and everything. It's not important. To, uh, you have to think, I write for me and not for the other. So if you want to do it, you can do it.